Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. Coming at you with some 2022 Topps Pristine Baseball. Four box, pick your team, number six, all card ship. Some uh, potential for some really nice stuff in here. Big thanks to everyone here for making this happen. And you're part of the promo too. Details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Ryan Harold, last spot mojo for the Royals. Good luck to him, good luck to everybody. Thank you. Now, remember, we marked this six so we know that they're from the same case. So let's get this started. Some of you may remember a lot of packs to open here. That's what they, otherwise, this break would be pretty a pretty quick break, but a lot of packs to work through. This is like the size of a, a Bowman Draft like Super Jumbo box, by the way. There's a lot, a lot going on here. I think we did this, did we do this first half before the National? I'll hide those encased cards back there. I think this might be a pre-National break. Right, Oliver has the A's. Yeah, Canseco is pretty, seems to be pretty common throughout these breaks. Jason opened the second half all the time? That can't be right. I'm doing the second half. Pick your team six, Christine. Or did he do, did he do, did he do the first? That's my writing, I think. We did the first half two nights ago. I'm very confused now. No, pick your team four before? Huh. Well, either way, here's some more pristine. <laughs> this is pristine six. I marked that on that case. That's my writing. Maybe there is a, there is a rogue case. A rogue case of pristine that's out there. So he did number four. Well, what happened to number five? I did number five. Either way, this is the right one. Right, more packs. All, all blurs together to me, for me now. Yeah, whatever. Just, just get, just get him that Conseco. Who's on first? What's on? So you know, uh, at the at the Hall of Fame, I was at Cooperstown last week, Ryan, and um, there was a uh, a little section of. Of the uh, of the Hall of Fame that ha that was playing that bit that old who's on first what's on second bit the in its entirety um, <laughs> there was a uh, it's kind of hard to explain but but basically near near that station where they were doing that uh, there's like a little TV screen of that bit and a little bench you could sit on and watch just a little just maybe a handful of steps over was a bookstore. And there was this girl working at, sitting at the register at the bookstore. I wonder if, if whoever works there is just driven crazy by hearing that, that re on repeat over and over again for hours on end. Or maybe you just block it out at, at, at some point, but... That would, that would drive me bananas, I think. 
that is number 50 out of 50. I was like, that looked a little different. Bo Bichette going to the Blue Jays, Michael Losia. Nice O'Neill Cruz rookie card. You know, Josiah Gray's actually been having a really nice season. I know pitchers don't sell as well as their, their hitting counterparts. He ended up going uh, six and a third, scattered seven hits, five strikeouts, two earned runs, not bad. Here's the other bits. There's Luis Gonzalez to 99 for the Diamondbacks. That'll be for Tanner. And a Jesse Winker. A Winker. 15 out of 50 for the Reds. Austin with the Reds. And we got a Steve Carlton. Nice. Maybe a little a little ink right there or something like that, but nice Steve Carlton jersey and on-card autograph. I have not heard of Koga, Kodai Senga. Might be another Japanese international coming to the MLB. I did not see the steroid asterisk area. I oh no, I did see that. They didn't have a they didn't have an actual asterisk, but they did. Uh, who has the Phillies? Howard with the Phillies. There you go, Howard. They did have uh, they did have a, a a little mention of it. Tigers fired their manager too. I know they fired their GM today. I didn't realize they fired their manager as well. All right, the encase cards. Shane Bieber. I guess they're clearing out front office and the coaching staff. Thirty-eight out of fifty. Guardians. Howard. Although I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I don't know why they would. Don't they just let let them play out the season. Paul DeYoung for the Cardinals. Nick LaPlante. J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox. That'll be for Nestor. Another Luis Gonzalez in case to 75. Tanner with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Joe Morgan, part of the Big Red Machine, 24 out of 50. That'll be for Austin and Captain Jack Flaherty. That will be for Nick and the Cardinals. There you go, Nick. Nice, good start. Next box. Oh, Rex meant the GM. Not the manager. All right. What is going on in the baseball world today? It's a final in San Diego. Padres pounding out 13 runs. I guess he had a seven run inning. Beat the Giants. Mariners uh, walked it off last night beating the Yankees. Beat them again today, four to three. I think Aaron Judge Homer watch. Uh, he hit another one today. I think he's at, what, 44, 45 homers now? In extras, the uh, the Angels beat the A's 5-4. to four. Cubs beat the Nationals 4-2. to two. Brewers in extras beat the Rays 4-3. Yeah, Ryan Harrell saying Mets are good. That's what's happening in baseball. They sure are. They uh, they beat the Reds ten to two, improving to seventy three and thirty nine. And that's it for the finals. And we've got a few games in progress. With we got the. Marlins leading the Phillies 2 0. Two nothing in the top of the fourth. 
Rain delay in Baltimore, Blue Jays and O's have not gone underway yet. Braves and Red Sox scoreless in the bottom of the third. Guardians leading the Tigers 3-0 in the top of the third. And I think there's still some games that are about to happen. They haven't started yet. I think White Sox at Royals, they're about to start in about 10 minutes. Rangers, Astros are about to start. Cardinals, Rockies on the schedule too. Pirates are in uh, Arizona and the, my Dodgers hosting the Twins. Yeah, then. then Mets are going to be pretty scary in the postseason. With the, with the, I mean, Jacob Degrom looks looks pretty uh, looks pretty electric right now. It's going to be pretty scary. Rex is already asking about biggest free agents in the offseason. That's what happens when, when you're a Cubs fan. But there's still baseball to be played. Uh, Blue, uh, Blue, in the AL, Blue Jays and Mariners are leading the wild. Remember, there's extra wild cards now. Blue Jays and Mariners have the top two wild card spots. Rays and Orioles have wild card spots. But the Guardians, Twins, half a game behind a wild card spot. Chicago White Sox are pretty close to two games behind. Red Sox are a little far away, four and a half games back. In the NL, Braves and Phillies. Braves seem like they have a kind of a lock-ish on the wild card spot. Phillies, half a game ahead. Padres with a wild card spot. Brewers are a game behind a wild card spot. And uh, Giants are seven and a half games behind. So they're, they're going to have to do some work if they want to get there. There's Juan Soto Nationals edition. Cubs are even going to be in the free agent market anyway, Rex. Keep developing that young talent. That's what they need to do. Corbin Burns to 99 for the Brew Crew. That's going to be for John. And a Freddie Freeman jersey and autograph. Slice of a star jersey and auto. Those look pretty cool. Uh, Adam with the Braves. 47 out of 50 on that one. Nice one for the Bravos. It's Kyle Schwarber. 55 out of 99 for the Bo Sox. Nestor with the Bo Sox. All right, now you're encased cards. We got an Eloy Jimenez for the Southsiders. That goes to Howard. 41 out of 50. Jonathan India for the Reds, Austin. 44 out of 75. Vidal Bruhan, rookie card. That will be for the Rays. Ricky with the Rays. We got Jackson Coar, rookie autograph for the Royals. Ryan Harold. Last spot mojo. 70% of the time, hits 100% of the time. Willie Mays. Willie Mays Hayes. That goes to Sean Healy and the Giants. And we got the Polar Bear. He looks fired up right there. Pete Alonzo. Yeah, let's go. 28 out of 99 for the Metropolitans. That'll be for Howard. All right. Halfway through this half case break. Yeah, I want, when are we going to start seeing Freddie Freeman, Freddie Freeman Dodger autographs and products? What's coming? What's coming up? Well, there's actually no no new releases today. I don't know if there's any new releases on Friday. Take a peek at the new release calendar while I'm opening up a, a zillion packs here. 
Sweet. Looks like, and, and the all the all these dates right now are TBD. These these can these can change at any time. Um, I guess we got a clearly authentic at the end of the month. Stadium Club is TBD. I'm not sure if we'll see Freddie Freeman in there. Yeah, Immaculate comes out in early September. Museum collection maybe early September museum collection. I might maybe see some Freddie Freeman Dodger autos in there. And then Prism Baseball, Bowman Chrome Baseball, Mid-September, Valiant, Chronicles, Allen and Ginter. Maybe late September, Topps Chrome. Could there be some Freddie Freeman Dodger autographs in Topps Chrome? That'd be a nice, nice one to get. Flawless is not even on the calendar right now. What else is going on through the end of the year? Um, there's a gold label baseball. There's a Topps Gilded Collection baseball. I would love to see them trim down the packaging in next year's Pristine. What's inside Pristine, these packs are pretty great. A little bit of a challenge for, for breakers, though. Hashtag breaker problems. What else? What else? What else? Uh, quick pitch sometime in September. Gilded collection, whatever that is. Archives baseball in October. You know, again, all these, these dates could be TVD, depending on a lot of times these products have been delayed. An update series in October, Top Sterling or Bowman Sterling in October, Luminaries in late October, Five Star late October, Bowman Inception late October, Cosmic Chrome Baseball in early November, Heritage Minor League, that's going to be an in-store thing. Triple Threads is slated for around Thanksgiving. And uh, no date for, uh, or a November TBD date for Finest Baseball. Justin's been waiting for collegiate NT and flawless, and they're not on the calendar. I, I wonder if they're just gonna. They may, they may just skip that this year. Well, there's some. They're still releasing some collegiate product. Or yeah, maybe they'll see who they can get auto-wise before they, they start producing that. All right, finally, another box ripped open. Good luck, everybody. So these packs are usually just base cards, some parallels. Nice Wander Franco insert for the Rays, Ricky and the Rays. And there should be an auto hiding in here somewhere, usually. There's Sammy Long, 46 out of 99 for Sean H. Giants. And there it is, Tim Anderson. Poor Tim Anderson. I think uh, he tore a ligament or something like that. He's, he's going to be out for a good chunk of the remainder of the season. Maybe four to six weeks. Uh, but this will go to the White Sox. Howard with the Southsiders. 
And we've got a Jordan Alvarez to 99. And an Eddie Murray. Nice little color match there. Orange parallel for the O's, the Orioles. Aaron with the Orioles. And Jordan goes to Ryan Stewart and the Astros. All right, encased cards. Kettle Marte, 54 out of 75. Tanner and the Diamondbacks. There's Jared Walsh for the Halos. That's for Richard. Here's an autograph. That's Larry Walker. That's going to be for Tanner and the Rockies. Some great penmanship here. Great Larry Walker. Jim Palmer for Aaron Miller and the Orioles. Classic. To 25. Mitch Hanniger. Mariners. Ryan Harrell. And by popular demand, another Tim Anderson for Howard and the Shy Sox. Final box coming up. Pick your team six, part of the promo. Details on that, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Did you It's already that time? No, I'm good, sir. Thank All you. Right. Have a good one, man. You too. <laughs> yeah, Adam's like, where are those Yankees? Maybe they're all hiding in this fourth box here. Yeah, Aaron was hunting Ripken, but, but he'll take it. Um, finally saw that, uh, saw no multiple videos of uh, Mets closer Edwin Diaz coming out of the pen. Yeah, with the horns and everything, it, 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 does, it does get you fired up. Braves call up their top prospect, Grissom, to the majors. Otani Homers gets win to equal Ruth Milestone. Jackie Bradley Jr. joins the Blue Jays on a one-year deal. Phillies, uh, Bryce Harper to stay on the DH upon return. Yeah, Vaughn Grissom being called up. Is it any relation to Marquise Grissom? I guess RC is on the IL. Ozzy Alvey is still, still hurting. Von Grissom is being called up straight up from double-A like Michael Harris. I don't wonder if anything's changed in the AL-NL Rookie of the Year races. No, Julio Rodriguez, according to Vegas, 
still a comfortable favorite at minus 550. Jeremy Pena, Bobby Wood Jr., both at 11 to 1, 12 to 1 respectively. They may have an outside shot right there. And looks like in the NL, Spencer Strider minus 200, Michael Harris plus 310. Uh, you've got you. We got you some hits, Ryan. We got you some cards going your way. It's better better than most on this list. It's all it's all perspective, relative. There's a Wander Franco rookie card. That's for the Rays. That's going to be for Ricky. Will think Julio might get MVP votes. He, he just might, actually. All right. The other pack, we got John Smoltz. Smoltzy, one out of 50 for Adam. No, re Vaughn Grissom, no relation to Marquise Grissom, Oliver is saying. And we got Randy Arozarena. Nice jersey and autograph. Nice one for the Rays, Ricky and the Rays. In the AL, obviously, Aaron Judge is running away with the, at least Corner Vegas, running away with the, uh, the odds. 1999, Prince. He's minus 420 to win the AL MVP. Next closest is Otani at plus 350. There's Brian Reynolds to 99. You don't think Julio Rodriguez will get any MVP votes? Surely someone in a... Surely someone in uh, in Seattle, some baseball writer in Seattle, might give him like a give him a, a, a not maybe not a first place vote, but uh, in the NL, odds on favorite Paul Goldschmidt minus one thirty five, followed by Austin Riley plus four hundred, Freddie Freeman plus seven fifty, Pete Alonso's eighteen to one. There's Julio Urias, forty two out of seventy five for the Dodgers. That's going to be for John. By popular demand, that's Eloy Jimenez. Popular demand autograph, 15 out of 25, Howard and the White Sox. For the Diamondbacks, Tyler Gilbert, Tanner with the Snakes. Nine out of 25, any relation to Mariners pitcher, Logan Gilbert? There's Eloy Jimenez, Howard with the White Sox. Nice. We got Matt Manning for the Tigers. That's gonna be Chad B. And last but not least, there is Joe Barlow, rookie card, 25 out of 75 for the Texas Rangers, and that is for Howard. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was pristine baseball. Pick your team at number six. Everyone on this list right here, you are part of that, uh, that promo that we got going on on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check out the details there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.